Good morning everyone, thanks for uh, tuning in. So, today we are talking about my 9th gen Civic Si uh, that I repainted. So, uh, the car had some messed up paint before and I decided this year is going to be the year to uh, repaint the car. And um, uh, the repaint didn't exactly go the way I envisioned it. Um, because I have a little experience painting body panels, like say a fender, a hood, something small with a spray gun, but uh, never a whole car. Not only that, I've never done the bodywork or stripped a car down to primer or bare metal to do the bodywork, primer, sealer, paint, and clear. So um, I've got probably over 80 some hours just into uh, getting the paint to this stage and uh, there were three major reasons why this paint failed. So the first reason is um, equipment failure. So I was painting with a Fuji Mini Might 4. Um, it's a turbine sprayer, HVLP. Uh, you don't need a compressor, you don't need anything. You plug the box in and you're ready to spray it because it pr produces about 9 PSI, I believe, at 120 some uh, CFM. So huge power. And uh, in theory, it should have been able to spray this. So I sprayed the, the primer, the sealer, and then uh, two coats of base coat. And that went problem free. However, on my clear coat, I did one coat uh, without issue I went for the second coat and about mm, halfway through uh, the turbine started to fail it started losing power and uh, lost power and shut off while it was making some horrible noises wouldn't wouldn't have pressure to spray anything um, and I'll I can post a little video there's gonna be another video on why it failed so stick around for that but there's gonna be a video right after this one showing what happened. So I had about uh, one and a half, maybe two coats you could say of clear. I wanted at least three so I can sand and buff. Um, but the last half of that clear came out really, really spotty. So not a good paint job for the clear whatsoever. Um, reason number two that this paint job came out the way it did was the uh, improper paint activators or uh, catalysts so um, when I started spraying uh, the day before I went and bought out paint looking at the temperatures so it was supposed to be 80s high 80s to maybe 90s uh, so when I bought the paint that's what I was expecting to paint however I started painting late in the day, so I had initially uh, anticipated to be spraying by like 10, 11, 1 p.m. Uh, or 10, 11 a.m. one or 1 p.m. However, I didn't start spraying until about 3 or 4, and that was the sealer. I didn't even get to the base. So by the time I sprayed the base, I was using slow, slow activators. So. The slow activators are for high temp, they take forever to cure in lower temps, but you get really, really smooth paint job, which is what I was after. So, um, I used the slow chemicals, did one base coat, had to wait about 45 minutes, second base coat, third base coat. By the time I got to clear, it was, I want to say, 8 or 9 o'clock. I put one coat of clear down, had to wait over an hour and a half for that clear to flash. And then the second one wouldn't flash for a while, so I got, not only did I use the wrong chemicals, uh, using those slow activators and catalysts meant that it took forever to get the clear to cure properly, or to flash so it wouldn't be tacky anymore, which since it was tacky for so long I got lots and lots of bugs, dirt, sand, you name it, into the paint. That's and you can't really buff it because I only had about one and a half, two good coats, um, which is not good. And then the third reason why the paint job didn't come out right is just my inexperience for the paint job. 
having never sprayed a car before, I, I mean, you can watch all the YouTube videos you want in the world, but you don't have any actual experience, and that shows. I had some runs. This is my first time ever using a turbine sprayer, so I have no clue how to set it up. Um, I ran into issues with the turbine sprayer, like um, it hardening in the gun, uh, pinching the hose, uh, the hose connections coming loose. Um, yeah, just a whole lot of issues. I had a lot of runs, um, probably improper technique, you'll see, just because I have no idea what I'm doing. Plus, unlike an air compressor setup, this blows hot air, the turbine does. So, if when it comes out of the gun, it, if you improperly mix it, it will flash right out the gun, which I've had once. So, just my overall inexperience. Um, now that I have a new turbine, uh, I'm considering sanding it all down with 800 grit, um, putting some base, putting some clear, and then polishing it all out, but that's still a lot of work. So, I'm just going to show you guys the video of the car. I'm somewhat proud of it, and yet somewhat ashamed, so I guess uh, we'll take a peek, and uh, hopefully uh, this is going to be a nice warning to... All you guys that go, oh, hey, I can repaint my car. It's not that hard. Um, well, mistakes were made this time, but hopefully I'll save you the $600 in just in paint that I spent on this. So, <laughs> so this part's going to be a commentary of what I see. Hopefully, with this light, I can point out some of the imperfections. You can see some of the clears not right over here. Um, there's spotting that you can see. Right up here, it was uh, it was uh, sanded, but it wasn't fully buffed out. I couldn't get it to buff straight. More sandings needed. Um, you can see the ripples when I go with my light. They're just really obvious ripples. Not too many issues on this fender here, um, but you can see spots where the bodywork just wasn't perfect. Like there's a spot right here. There's another spot down here. Bodywork's not perfect. There's uh, areas where this curve where I couldn't get the buffer in. Um, didn't paint the mirror or the the handle. And here, I'm not even sure what this is. Well, over here, you can see where the clear coat's really messed up. The doors turned out the worst for some reason. And this white spot, I don't know if I burned through the clear when I was sanding or what because it just refuses to go away it wasn't shiny before um, the door was really matte so I buffed it out and now it's just this this white that refuses to go away when I like I can scratch at it and it peeks through so I might need to get the buffer out and uh, give it another buff and see see what happens we can take a look at the roof here and uh, the roof's obviously really messed up. You can see just the ripples, because I can't get to it and I didn't know if you do it first, if you do it second, so roof, no good. We transition to the back quarter, which actually turned out really good, except for we have these runs right over here. So you can see the run. And then here's another run. So this one was almost able to be sanded out. Oh, let's turn it here. It's almost flat, uh, flush. This one could have used some more work, but if I really wanted to, I could have sanded it out, polished it out, but I don't have much clear coat to work with. Along with, we can see this run right over here. Also, didn't turn out too good. The back bumper, not too bad condition, except for I didn't spray down here. So, this part of the bumper is painted. That part, not. <laughs> Amateur mistake. This is still white marks here. I don't know if that means I burned through the clear coat, if it needs more work. Or what, but uh, moving on, the the trunk lid, 
pretty decent. I mean, in the sun you can't even tell it was painted, so that's probably the best part of the whole car. The spoiler had uh, was looking really, really good until uh, the turbine started dying. Then all these huge ripples that you can see just killed it, especially right here. This can't get sanded out. So that was disappointing. Um, this quarter panel turned out really good. No runs, no anything. It turned out really good except for right here. Something's up with the, with the clear. It's super, super rough, rough and patchy right over here. I can't sand it out for some reason. So there's that. Another beautiful run here, as you can see. A long run, can't sand that out. I think this is clear coat shrinking. Um, it's just hard to, hard to tell for sure. This door is by far the worst. It has this white on it, and it, there is no shine to it. This is where I ran out of clear. And you can see the top has some clear, the bottom not so much, all patchy. You can't make, I mean you can hardly make the lights out versus over here they're much, well you can't see it on camera but yeah this door is huge problem. Fender not so bad just some uh, clear patchiness all over the clear other than that um, the car turned out pretty good um, but these are just the main issues that either need resolving or figuring out or redone um, maybe they can th this stuff cannot be buffed out I've tried buffing I've tried I mean, I've got the the compounds here to try and buff the stuff out but there's no amount of buffing is going to save this door. I don't think there's enough clear and I don't want to burn through it. So, Well, that's all that uh, went wrong with my paint job and that's the, the uh, finished work. I don't know if it'll be repainted by me or if the next owner can uh, do it because I'm selling it. So in this condition, yeah. Um, but if you're considering repainting a car, just know it's a lot of work. And if you don't have any experience, uh, this is probably best case scenario. Because there's a lot of worst case scenarios that can happen that, uh, especially if you're painting with uh, spray paint, no way. This was out of a gun and it turned out like that. So, but if you choose the right chemicals uh, with the right activators, like medium or fast, if it's colder temperatures, you wouldn't have had half the issues I had. If uh, the turbine didn't break or, you know, if you cooled it, vented it, sprayed it with a compressor, you wouldn't have that issue. But the, the inexperience, I mean, you can practice beforehand, you can watch videos, but it's all about spraying. If you mess up the spraying, well, it is what it is. But most of the stuff can be sanded, buffed, stuff like that. I hope this helps some of you guys out and uh, stay creative. <laughs>